Hello, my name is Raido Boost, and in this video I will briefly show how you can install Civil 3D 2017 and what options do you have when you start to install it. First of all, you need to download installation files and one possibility is that you download those files directly from autodesk.com website. If you find Civil 3D sub page, then you probably will notice also free trial. If you click on that, you can include your email and you can start to download. And my suggestion is that you use a download manager option because by default you start to install the software during download. But for later installations, if you want to reinstall or install to different machines, then Download Manager is the best option. In that way, you have your installation files on your hard drive or network drive, and you can fire up your installation from that. So I have downloaded those files, and if I have a look to my hard drive, then those files are extracted. And if I click on Civil 3D 2017, I will see that I do have a setup exam. So I double click on that file, and then I can start to install Civil 3D 2017. It is, of course, possible to download those files directly from your Autodesk account. If you already have a Civil 3D license, then you can find download options also from your account, manage.autodesk.com. You click downloads and then you can select a version, platform, language and again you have more options here and my general suggestion is that you use download now using download manager. After my installation dialog has fired up I can go to directly installation view but uh, I would like to point out that uh, also you have an option to create a deployment. This is similar as before so that you can set up your settings what do you want to install and then to multiplayer machines it's much easier to do it. I have also installed tools and utilities if you click on that then you can see that um, by default you are actually installing also object enablers so that's a location where you find if you want to install those later. So those object enablers are important for regular AutoCAD users so if you want to see civil 3D objects in AutoCAD LT or AutoCAD architecture or AutoCAD MEP then you need those object enablers. You also have an option to install Network License Manager if you use Network License and you also have an option to install AutoCAD CAD Manager tools. I deselect those and go back. Now I move forward, I click on the Install button and this is my main installation view where I can select what to install with Civil 3D 2017. Before I can start with my installation, I need to read the license and agree with the license terms. So I accept and then click on next. Then I see my installation options. Depending on what you have installed before, you may see a similar picture. So that for example, in my case, I have already installed Autodesk Recap. So that is meant for visualizing and organizing your point cloud data. I also have installed A360 Desktop. So that enables you to share or pack up your design information and files directly to your Autodesk account. And of course, my main installation options on Top Pro, Civil 3D 2017. If I click on that, I can see what are my options, what I would like to install, and uh, what's maybe next time. Again, I may see a picture that uh, some selections are grayed out. It means that I already have installed those with different uh, software, for example, AutoCAD 2017. And with Civil 3D, I can select, of course, Autodesk Storm and Sanitary Analysis. That is a separate software package mainly used for stormwater and sanitary network design and analysis. I also can select Subassembly Composer. This is again a separate module that enable you to create different sub-assemblies for your road corridor models. Installation type, I, I use typical option and also I ensure that express tools are also selected. But of course I can select custom and see what is included. And if I really don't want something to be installed, then I can deselect those and select content. If I scroll down, I can see that uh, my options are quite limited. I can add content from Autodesk website if I have downloaded beforehand but I typically use a desktop shortcut with all my 
content installations. So IT Select, Civil 3D Imperial, as I'm Civil 3D metric user. And uh, I also would like to add AutoCAD profile and also include yes here so that I have a desktop shortcut for that also. I can configure my folders. I usually leave those as is, but if you work with larger companies and you probably include those path values to some network location. I click again on AutoCAD Civil 3D and then I can move on and define my installation path. I use a default path, so that's my C drive. And of course I can see also disk space. Currently I do need three gigabytes, but again, it depends what components you already have installed. For example, in my case, I have installed AutoCAD 2017, and that's why it's much lighter in terms of disk space, my installation. Then I can click on install button, and I can see the number of different plugins or software packages that will be installed. So in my case, 20 in overall, I simply have to wait. Once uh, installation is finished, you will see a summary. If everything was correctly installed, then you will see green marks before the component name. So everything is okay. I just click on finish button and then you should see also new desktop icons if you installed those components that I showed to you. So Civil 3D 2017, also Autodesk Storm and Sanitary Analysis 2017 and separate icon for plain AutoCAD version of 2017. So in my next video we will fire up Civil 3D 2017 and have a quick look what's new.